The price of money is going up, and it's not only because of the Fed. Bloomberg What's the most important price in the global economy? The price of oil? The price of semiconductors? The price of a Big Mac? More important than any of these is the price of money. For more than three decades it was falling. Now it's going up. Ask most people how the price of money is set, and they'll say central banks. True, when it comes to direct control of U.S. interest rates, the Federal Reserve calls the shots. But there's a deeper logic at work. Fundamentally, the price of M. Below are your comments. Just for the record, this is one of many articles that reports only the public held national debt, N. OT the total national debt which includes the money the government owes the trust funds that is not publicly traded. The total national debt went over 100% of GDP back when Obama was president and is Bottom line without all the bells and whistles is that we have painted ourselves into a corner, and might have a lost decade, waiting for that paint to dry. We do not use money, we use currency. Money is something that retains value. The US dollar is a fiat currency. It's backed by the US government. Also every nation uses national currencies. The dollar used to be backed by gold. Now the US can print as much currency as it wants. Higher Forever was projected in 2020 by the World Economic Forum. Not that I agree with their Conten. T, but it was the most highly predicted rate hikes in history. Fast forward to today and we have a giant debt issue with households and gov. Spending that my friends is a reset on debt. Not going t. Inflation is associated with inflation. Dot the Fed will never tell you this. Also they broke the sup. Lee chain and raising rates actually increases inflation also. They will bring rates down only for T. He election. Next news. Ask an advisor. I have $1.15 million saved and will collect $3,500 per month in Social Security. Can I retire at 62? Dot. Smart asset. I am 57 and have $1.1 million in my 401k and $50,000 in a high-yield savings account. I earn $300,000 per year and put $30,000 in my 401k each year plus a match on the first 6%. I have a $220,000 mortgage on a home valued at $550,000. I would like to retire at 62. The Post Ask an Advisor. I have $1.15 million saved and will collect $3,500 per month in Social Security. Can I retire at 62? Appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. The math is not adding up here. Making 300k per year only saving 30k per year. That's 270k taxable income should be taking home about 192k after taxes. Says they can live off $8,500 per month, 102k per year. 
Where is that extra 90k going currently? I doubt they are being realistic about that. The maximum social security benefit in 2023 is $3,627 at full retirement age. It's $4,555 per month if retiring at age 70 and $2,572 if retiring at age 62. A person's benefit amount depends on earnings, full retirement age and when they take benefits. I have $1.15 million saved and will collect $3,500 per month in Social Security. Can I retire at 62? If you can't, you should probably take some classes at your local community college and learn how to handle your money. I do just fine on a whole lot less. I have $2,000 in my credit cards, 50 k in student loans, 18 k in auto loans, and I am 59. I make 30 k a year and spend 40 k Can I retire at 99? I have $3.4 billion in savings. My 10 houses are paid off. The 30 cars are paid for. I have zero debt. I was wondering if I can now retire. I am 97 years old and the doctors told me I have a month to live. Next news. Morgan Stanley's Wilson warns stock gains are bear market rally. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. The S&P 500 index's best week in a year was just a bear market rally, according to Morgan Stanley. S top rank strategist most read from Bloomberg Amazon's Jeff Bezos announces move to Miami from C. T.T. Lessam Bankman fried convicted of fraud in stunning FTX crash biggest cross-asset rally this year ta. Kess Wall Street by Storm Iceland's Blue Lagoon on alert for magma flows after earthquakes Israel's fig. H.T. with Iran proxies in Syria poisons Russia ties technical and fundamental support as M. Below are your comments. The bond and equities bear market started in January 2022. Inflation went sky high in 2022 and the Fed has been fighting inflation with QT and raising short tay. Erm rates. Long-term T bond rates started climbing since July because the U.S. Treasury announced a large supply of T bonds to finance the ENO. In all my years in the stock market, not once did I see stock prices defy gravity for forever and a day, they never do. What goes up will come down by unforeseen forces. And how did I lose money in market? Answer, by buying stocks at the rally price. How did I wipe out all of my this rally has some serious earmarks of a bear market move. Interest rates appear to be a plus for now, but the amplitude of it makes me nervous. Also, it comes on the heels of a yield curve inversion. Currently, I'm about 80% plus long, so I hope he is wrong, but I certainly respect his opinion. Geez, he's been calling for a crash since end of last year. Next news. China's first deficit in foreign investment signals West's de-risking pressure. 
Reuters Shanghai Reuters China recorded its first ever quarterly deficit in foreign direct investment FDI according to balance of payments data underscoring capital outflow pressure in Beijing's challenge GE in wooing overseas companies in the wake of a de-risking move by Western governments. Direct investment liabilities, a broad measure of FDI that includes foreign companies retained year. Nings in China, were a deficit of $11.8 billion during the July to September period, according to Prell. Imminary balance of payments data. That's the first quarterly shortfall since China's foreign exchange regulator began compiling the DAW. TA in 1998, which could be linked to the impact of de-risking by Western countries from China, as we LL as China's interest rate disadvantage. Below are your comments. Threatening their southern neighbors with their false claims in the South China Sea, threatening West's turn nations not to get involved with their potential military invasion of Taiwan, supporting North Korea's military threat to the world and tying itself to the economic corpse of I don't believe China's data. Even their own premier doesn't believe them. Hedge fund managers are short-term buyers while Asia bans short selling. A giant hole waiting to erupt like a volcano. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark dot. Bans on short selling is a fatal move by Asia. Decoupling is the only answer when it comes to a CCP-controlled China. Let's keep it going. Next news. Elon Musk debuts, rebellious, Grok AI bot to challenge chat GPT. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Elon Musk revealed his own artificial intelligence bot to challenge chat GPT, claiming the proto T. Pay is already superior to ChatGPT 3.5 across several benchmarks. Most read from Bloomberg Amazon's Jeff. F. Bezos announces move to Miami from Seattle Sam Bankman Fried convicted of fraud in stunning FTX Cray. SH biggest cross-asset rally this year takes Wall Street by Storm Iceland's Blue Lagoon on alert for M. Agma flows after earthquakes Israel's fight with Iran proxies in Syria poisons Russia tie. Below are your comments. So the AI has a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak. Well no if I am gonna ask the AI something. I just want the answer I don't want an AI in general to be rebelling. Isn't that the fear people be are. Ing up about AI and reference Terminator so often? I want to be on record recommending a pause, while at the same time developing my own AI. This is why humans have trust issues. Musk. AI is bad. They should have waited for me. Even if Elon's products were offered for free, I wouldn't use them. Rebellious? So he made a product that doesn't work the way you want it to? Next news. Best China Stocks. Online gaming giant, EV maker Flash Buy Signals. Investors Business Daily. U.S. listed Chinese stocks have struggled amid weaker China economic data. But several stocks are showing strength. Below are your comments. The headline reads the five best stocks to buy and watch in China. Then the article says to not buy any of them. 
So why write a headline to grab your attention about stocks to buy only to say not to buy them? Someone wants to buy them at a discount. That's why. The best China stocks to buy are none of them. U.S. investors there is no such thing as best in buying anything from America's enemy. Chinese stocks are beaten down now, so the buy low, sell high principle could apply if you are not a conscientious investor. They have been running this article non-stop for about a month now. They didn't allow any more comments, but now they have tweaked it a bit and I can finally put in my two cents. PDD is the parent of Temu, which is fraught with controversy. Temu does not maintain even the facade of a meaningful company. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.